Hey guys, so today's video is a really exciting video. This is my very first Morphe haul. Uh, this is actually my very first purchase from Morphe. Um, we all know that we hear about the Morphe brand a lot here in the beauty community. Um, and I finally decided to order some brushes. You guys can see my brushes back there. Um, and you guys, if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I use the same ones over and over and over and over and over again. I've had the same brushes for years the last time I brought I bought a nice brush set was like five years ago that's a long time ago I haven't bought like any nice new brushes in a very very long time just because what was that just because I've always liked what I had I liked my Sigma brushes they were just they were really good they worked for me and yeah but the other day I was washing my brushes and one of my brushes like literally the bristles, all of them just came right out of the ferrule, no problem, and I was just like, okay, that's it. Like, it's time for some new brushes. So, um, I ordered a whole bunch of brushes from Morphe. So, really quickly before we get into this video, I want to say hi to anybody that is new. If you haven't already, subscribed to my channel, uh, and we can be friends. Uh, follow my social media accounts, which will be linked in the description box. And, yeah. So let's get straight into this Morphe brush haul. So I ordered a lot of brushes, you guys, a lot of brushes. Now, Morphe brushes are very cheap um, price-wise. Like, they're very, very good prices. Um, I think I'm going to start with this bag because it has less brushes. Now, I think there's about 30 brushes I have to go through. So let's, let's, get, this, let's get this going. So starting with the very first brush, I got the um, Morphe R6. This is a from their Rose Gold collection. I believe it's called a Rose Gold Edition line. This is just like a flat top um, kabuki. Now, I got this because this is actually the brush where all the bristles just completely fell out of my Sigma one. So I decided that uh, that was going to be like my first purchase and my first item in my cart was another one of those brushes because I do love these brushes for foundation. And this one's super, super soft. I'm so excited. I haven't had new brushes in so long and it's so beautiful. But yeah, this is the R6 uh, from Morphe. Next, I accidentally um, put two of these uh, brushes in my cart, but these are the M570. So these are just really nice. I think they advertise these as powder brushes. Once again, super soft. Like, wow, I'm really impressed with the quality of these brushes. Like, I see what the hype is about. Uh, yeah, these are just going to be really good for like powdering your face, maybe even blush, but I got two of those. Once again, these are the M570. 570. Next is the M580. This is just a um, like flat um, like contouring brush is like what I think they like a lot of brands call them but I think that this one is like a definer like a pro definer definer or contour or something um, but I liked this one because this is going to be great for uh, cleaning up down here I didn't necessarily get this for um, contouring but I did get it for like cleaning up and such um, and once again it's really soft but this is the M580 the next brush is the M530 and I believe this one is supposed to be either a contour or a highlighter brush I want to say a contour I don't think this is the highlighter one but this is just going to be a really good brush for I think contouring I think this is going to actually be really nice for contouring and maybe if I want like a very subtle highlight for the day because this is a little less dense and the bristles are longer I think that if I want like a really natural highlight I think like that's going to give me like a gorgeous natural highlight um on my face so I'll probably be using that for one of those two things like I said a really light contour or a really light uh highlight so yeah this is the M530. And I got this brush, which I'm super excited about. This is the M178. Uh, this is a precise, like, contouring brush. 
I am so excited about this one. Like this one, you will be able to get in there. So unlike the last one, if I want to like really cut my cheekbones out and get like a really strong contour, this is what I'm going to be using for that. I am so excited about this brush. It's really going to get me like that sharp contour that I am looking for um, in certain looks. So this is the M178 and I'm so excited about this brush. So those were all the brushes from the first package and now we're going to move to the second one. This one has a lot because I ordered a lot of eye brushes. So just an FYI um, of another thing I was looking for when I went to get brushes. I wanted uh, certain brushes for certain things, but I also wanted a lot of detailing brushes. So just brushes where I can get like really precise eye looks or certain like a really either strong highlight or really strong contour. Just just really like defining or definer brushes. That's what I really was looking for in this particular like go at brushes. I just got a whole bunch of different brushes that I personally thought would be really, really good for um, a lot of more like detail work, but especially for my eyes. So we're just going to get started. I'm just going to grab random brushes from this pack and tell you guys what they are. So this first one is the M576. Now this brush is really, like the bristles are really long, but it's very, it's very slick stiff almost. So like you can get like a pretty um, nice like, uh, like I guess like contour in the crease with this brush with certain colors I'm really gonna like this one but it also I feel like will blend out the colors really really nicely it's not so stiff where it's not gonna blend them nicely but it'll concentrate more of that color directly in the crease rather than like bringing it up too high so I'm really excited about this one this one is really nice and honestly guys these brushes are super soft I see what the hype is about um, I would not be lying to you guys I am not affiliated with, so, um, with Morphe at all um, they're really 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 good quality brushes like you can just they're so soft and they feel really nice they're just really really good quality you can just feel the quality in these brushes so this is the M576 by the way you guys I will be linking all of the brushes that I'm talking about in the description box I will take have the name of them in the description box along with a link to them so it's very easy if you guys see a specific brush you guys want you guys can just look in the description and just click on the link of that particular brush and uh, put it in your cart or purchase it um, and also um, I will be leaving the uh, brush number somewhere on the screen so you guys can see the brush number so that um, it's easy and if you guys want to like write down the numbers as you guys are going um it's just easier for you guys to uh hear what i'm saying or see um the exact brush i'm talking about uh so that if you guys want to try any of these out if you guys see a particular brush that you need to have it'll just be really quick and easy for you guys to go on their website and get it okay so the next brush is the m513 now i'm really gonna like this brush because it reminds me a lot of the sigma E35. Now the E35 is bigger than the uh, M513, but um, I like to use the um, E35 from Sigma for like transition colors. It works really, really great for transition colors because it is a little bit larger and it just blends really, really seamlessly. Um, but I noticed that like sometimes I want a shadow to be blended into my transition color but I don't want it to fluff out as much, um, if that makes sense. So like this one will fluff it out uh, a lot and it won't um, concentrate it far enough into the crease. But if I use a brush that's too small, it's like too detailed. Does that make sense? So I want a brush that was a little bit smaller than that one that I could still kind of focus it in the crease, but just blend it where I want it and not have it go too far up, but also um, not be like really too concentrated, um, like in one certain area. Um, but I just needed it to blend the shadow as well. So I think that this one is going to do that for me. So this is the M513. Next is another face brush and this is the, um, Morphe, uh, R12 and this is a, um, fan brush from their Rose gold collection. This is a highlighting fan brush. This one isn't going to give me a super strong highlight, but it's going to give me a really like just beautiful detailed highlight um, and defined highlight because it is so thin, which I think I'm going to like. So this is the R12 
from Morphe and I'm really excited about this fan brush so yeah next is a pencil brush I just wanted a new pencil brush because I um, honestly just have like the same pencil brush and I needed more than one so I got the um, R41 this is a like the bristles are a little bit shorter than the other pencil brush that I have the other pencil brush that I have the bristles are a little bit longer and thinner so I feel like this is going to be really nice to kind of like buff out more colors um, and not make it so defined like my other pencil brush like I said is just a little bit thinner than this so it really makes things super defined um, and sometimes can be a little hard to blend out so I'm really excited about this one because I think it'll be a little bit easier to um, buff out shadow underneath the eyes and also this will be really good for like really detailed work in the crease um, without making it um, I feel like super uh, concentrated this is the R41 um, once again so yeah Next, um, I got this brush because I have been wanting another one for a really long time. Um, I have one from MAC and I can't remember the name of it, but it's just a flat brush. This is the M432. It's just a very flat, detailed, a definer brush. So the other one that I have from MAC I use for underneath my brows for my concealer and it works great for that. It's amazing for that, but I needed another one. I needed another one to kind of smudge um, shadows along my lower lashes because Jaclyn Hill does that a lot and I noticed that with hers. Um, when she smudges colors underneath her eyes, it looks so dark and just dramatic and I love it and I noticed that mine wasn't getting like as concentrated as hers so it was almost like diffused um and uh with the brushes that I was using it wasn't um as dramatic as I would want it like it would really diffuse out with the brushes that I was using so for a more concentrated uh effect I really think that this one's going to be great so this is once again the M4 three two and I just feel like I could do a lot with this brush so I'm really excited about this one then I just got this uh, angled brush this is the M409 I just really really needed a way more defined angle brush that is a lot thinner here because a lot of the ones that I have um, do not do winged liner very well and I really wanted to start using uh, angled brushes for winged liner because it just in my opinion goes so much quicker like I said it just goes a lot quicker and a lot of the angle brushes that I have right now are very thick so I can't get a really precise line so this is the M409 next brush that I have is the M416 now I do believe that this is a lip brush but I did not get it to use it as a lip brush um, I actually got this to use it for cut creases or um, like concentrating uh, like wet products or cream products um, on like the inner corners of my eyes or if I wanted to use this to clean up my concealer underneath my brows I got it for a lot of like creamed uh, detailed work around my eyes so yeah the next brush I got is the M443 this is a liner brush uh, I got another liner brush just because I feel like you can never have enough um, I have quite a few but just for detailing work if I wanted to put glitter um, under my eye or in my crease or you know as liner um, I feel like you can never have enough um, liner brushes plus once again um, I will just use it for liner as well um, I feel like my liner brushes mess up so easily um, so I feel like I will probably end up ordering a couple more of their liner brushes because um, I feel like you can never have enough but once again this is the M443 so this next Next brush I got um, and it's a lot like the pencil brush but it's different because the bristles are a little softer and they're more flexible so they're not as stiff and this is the M169 uh, I got this for detailing once again in like the outer corner um, of my eye I told you guys I really just wanted some more detailing brushes to get me like a really defined eye um, because I really just want to like express my creativity and I feel like I haven't been able to because I feel like all my brushes are just so big and bulky and I just needed some smaller defining um, detailing brushes so this is the M169 and it is really oh my god I'm really excited about this brush this brush is gonna be amazing 
Okay, so the next one, speaking of detail, this is a super little brush. This is the M515. Do you guys see how little that is? It's very, very small. Comparing it to the brush that we just um, saw, you guys can see how small it actually is. It's very little. Um, and I got this one for, once again, just more detail around the eyes. It is a little bit stiffer, so you're going to be able to get, like, really, really um, small lines and really fine detail around the eyes. So no matter what that may be, I got this for that. Um, and I'm really excited to try it out. So this is the M515. Next is a, another face brush. And this is the, I think they call this on their website, like they, um, advertise it as. In fact, I can look. They advertise this one, um as a highlight definer which once again i told you guys i'm really oh i dropped my paper with all the information on it once again i told you guys i'm really looking for those definer brushes to define a lot of the makeup and this is the uh r41 no r31 so it's just really little and you can really concentrate that highlight right there on the cheekbone if you want to it's denser than a lot of other highlight brushes so it's just gonna really get that highlight on there really really nicely once again on the nose wherever you want to just define your highlighter and maybe make it a little bit more intense so if you wanted to use a brush that wasn't as dense and was a little bit fluffier on like your whole cheekbone and then you really wanted to concentrate a little bit just right here on the very top of your cheekbone that is what I would use this for so that's what I got this for it's the R31 the next brush I have here is the M502 it is just a big fluffy blending brush I feel like you can never have enough of these I got the M502 and I this one's gonna be perfect because it it is thinner so it's just gonna blend it out really really nicely but not like diffuse it way too much I'm really excited about this brush this brush is gonna be amazing for blending but also for putting um, a transition color in the crease so yeah really excited about this one the next brush is another super detailed definer contouring brush this is the M557 you guys can see how small it is for a face brush so when you go to contour, it's really going to cut those cheekbones out and make sure that your contour is sharp and like it's going to be super detailed. So I'm really excited about this brush, but it's also really soft and fluffy enough to where the point where it's going to blend it out really nicely and you're not going to get just like a really harsh line, but it'll blend it really nicely as well. I'm so excited about this brush. Once again, that's the M557. The next brush I got is the M413. It is just an angled brush here and then a spoolie on this side. This is the M413. The next brush is, uh, oh my gosh, so excited. You guys know I only had one of those like um, contouring uh, flat top contouring brushes and that one was from Sony Kashuk. I love it. It's a good brush, but when I was trying to do the um, trick with the um, powder underneath your eyes to kind of cut that line to give you guys a, like a really nice cat eye like I did in my Valentine's Day tutorial and a couple of other tutorials, um, I, I felt like it was too big. So I decided to get this one, which is the perfect size to get that underneath the eyes. Um, and this is the M572. It's just, I bought it specifically for that, to put powder underneath the eyes, stamp it underneath the eyes to get a really nice, uh, sharp cat eye. Um, just because I feel like my other one was a little too big and it got a little sloppy and a little messy. So this one is gonna really get in there and get me that cat eye shape that I want. I just feel like it's a nice alternative to like the bigger one. So if you really want to define something and you wanna get in there very precisely, I feel like this one is a lot better for detailing. So yeah. This is the M572. The next brush I got is the M518. This is just going to be a great uh, brush for transitioning, um, for a transition color or for blending things out or just loosely putting things in the crease. It's not too dense and it's not too fluffy. It's just kind of like the great like in between those two. So I'm really excited about using this brush. Once again, this is the M518. Next, I'm really excited about this brush. This is the M507. This is going to be great for uh, cut creases to get like that dark shadow right above your crease without having it like drag down onto the lid and look really messy. Okay, so I honestly don't remember what I was saying because my camera battery died and I had to let it charge for a little bit, but um, 
Um, yeah, I was saying I think that this is just going to be great for cut creases to really get in there and define that crease if you want a cut crease, but still be able to blend it out really nicely so it's not just like a really um, harsh line. Um, I think that this brush is the perfect because it'll still be able to blend out that crease. So yeah, once again, this is the M507. Then I have this brush. This is the R39. This to me is a lot like the 217, maybe a little bit stiffer um, and denser uh, and a the bristles are slightly longer but this is just gonna be great once again for some crease work or just putting some colors on the outer corner so yeah that's just a very simple like kind of can do everything brush and this is the R39 and the next one is the M573 this is once again just a really uh, good transition brush um, that's what I think I'm going to use it for but it's very tapered and pointed so you can actually also get like some colors right into your crease um, and kind of define it a little bit more um, so I really am going to like that um, and that is the M573 so yeah Next, this is the brush that Jaclyn Hill is always talking about. It is her favorite like brush and it is the M433. She's always talking about it saying how it's very similar to the MAC 217 and it is um, yeah I like this one a lot. This one's going to be one of my favorites. Once again all over um, good brush for like your entire eye. You can do so much with brushes like this. You can put color on the lid for like a light wash. You can put colors in your crease, transition colors. I mean it really it does so much. I love brushes like this. So this one I know I'm going to love because it's so versatile and I can do a lot. So this is the M433. The next one is the M514. This is a very thin and long brush. So once again, this is going to be great for crease, uh, detailed crease work. Um, it's going to keep the color... Um, like in a more concentrated area rather than blending it out too much but once again because the brush does have really long bristles you could still uh blend it out really nicely without it looking really harsh and unblended i'm just really excited about this brush i think it's going to be really good for um very like precise work in your crease and on your eyes so yeah this is the m514 the next two brushes are two more highlight brushes. These are also the last two brushes that I got. So this is the R36 and I see a lot of people using this brush for highlight and this is their highlighting brush uh, on their website. One of the, um, uh, I guess, main ones. I don't know. Uh, but I was really excited about this. This is probably the one that I'm going to be using every day because it's not as concentrated and isn't as dense as um, the defining highlighter brush but it's not as loose and big as one that I said is going to be good for like really like light uh, dusting of highlights to give you like a really natural glowy look. This one is way smaller as you can tell so it's going to give you a more concentrated look but it's still it's kind of like in between the um, defining highlighter brush and that one where it's kind of like you can get yourself like a really nice natural glow but also like kind of define it if you want to and I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is probably going to be like my new everyday highlighter brush and once again that's the R36. Once again if the camera angle or the lighting has gotten weird or anything like that my I just the amount of times I've had to stop my videos today in order to charge my battery uh figure out <laughs> like take stuff out the card and whatever because my card got full is ridiculous. I've filmed so much today. Anyways um <laughs> This brush is just, I think, going to be good for um, possibly, I think, because it is a um, large round blender, I think that it will be really good if you just want to like quickly throw on a little something in your crease, but you don't want it to be too harsh. You're just trying to run errands for the day. You don't want like a lot, a lot of eyeshadow or a lot of um, like makeup going on. I think this would be good for your eye just to like throw in a quick like bronzer in your crease or something. But I also do think that it would be good for like um, highlighting down your nose, maybe contouring your nose, um, or you know, just like detail highlighting again. So, once again, that's the M511, and that was my last brush. So, 
that was a lot of brushes <laughs> and I um, was really excited to film this because just like I said um, I really needed new bl new brushes and I'll probably end up ordering more from their website they have so many brushes and for really really good prices um, you guys will see me using these in tutorials in the future so basically from here on out minus the next tutorial that is going up which is a another Valentine's Day tutorial you guys will from here on after that video you will see these brushes being used in um, pretty much all of my videos uh, and tutorials so I really hope that I like these brushes uh, my battery light is flashing at me again uh, I really hope that um, I end up enjoying these brushes but so far so good I do think I'm gonna like them a lot I do think that they're gonna be really good brushes uh, they the quality feels really amazing and they just feel really nice and I'm really excited so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Morphe brush haul. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, uh, what other videos you guys want to see in the comments below. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.